Hi there folks, it's Daniel here and today I wanted to share with you some industry news with regards to AI image manipulation. And you know, we've all become used to the warp tools and liquify tools inside of Photoshop and we have a lot of fun with it. And to be honest, it's pretty much just squishing pixels around if anything else, right? What we're about to see today is gonna make all of those tools look pretty much prehistoric. Now on my screen here, I've got a white paper that goes into the details of this bit of software. It's by a German visual computing and AI interaction software company. Anyway, the link is in the description of this video. You guys can go and have a look at it for yourselves. I've got a couple of samples here. I'm gonna drag up some of those samples and have a look at them and see where this could fit into our workflow. Right. Here is their little interface over here. You can clearly see that it's kind of looking at a database there. And what we're gonna do is press play here, All right? He's gonna be putting a point on the lion's nose, okay? And a point somewhere else over there. And he's gonna press start. And what just happened here has blown my mind away, okay? Look at that, he's even made the lion sit down. This is incredible. And it's actually recreating pixels behind the line on the fly. Okay, look at that. That's insane. Let's have a look at this line over here. Put a point on the nose and press start. And we'll have the line looking in a completely different direction. This is just mental, folks, right? He's going to identify the facial area of the lion. And then he's going to create another mask for the mane. All right, so watch this. We'll highlight the main there, and we'll put a point there, and put a point there, and get this line to look somewhere else in a different direction. There we go. Okay, it doesn't stop there. How about we open the mouth of the line? Watch this. I know it, it seems absolutely ludicrously absurd, but it's happening right in front of our eyes, okay? How it's doing this is beyond me. Now I can see uses for this, right? Here's a good example, right? We're gonna make this line look towards the camera. There we go. So what I was thinking is that this sort of thing is gonna help us when we, for example, don't have kiddos that are looking directly at the camera, we can just reorientate them. I've got a good example of that, like this over here. So the little guy here is looking at me pretty nicely. Doggy is now looking at me, but the girl is not looking at me. So we could easily reorientate the girl to look at the camera properly. I mean, how mental would that be just to put a little red dot on her nose, put a little blue dot somewhere else, and just get her to look in a different direction quickly? This stuff, I can't even comprehend it. I mean, really, seriously, this is just absolutely amazing. Let's have a look at portraits, okay? So... We'll open this over here. I'll pause it there for a second. I'll just drag it a bit bigger for you guys. Why so serious? <laughs> Are you gonna see why I'm gonna say that now? We'll just a little we'll just put a little point over here and a point there, and we'll press start and we'll give you a smile. Smile on that face. This is to quote the Joker from Batman. But this is just crazy, guys. I'm absolutely mind blown, okay? Let's have a look at another example right here. This one called human. <laughs> the stuff that we're looking at here is friggin' inhuman in nature. I've never seen anything like this, okay? So we'll have a look at what's gonna happen here. We'll just extend this dress or whatever you're wearing further down, no problem. Now that kind of reminds me of the Winter Princess tutorial that I created and where I extended Amy's dress if you guys can remember. Uh, in this case, yeah, it's just a point manipulation process and we'll make the dress longer and Bob's your uncle, okay? Let's change the direction of your feet here. No worries, we'll do that. And what's interesting is that what happens here affects other points of the image, okay? It's not static. So we've literally taken a 2D spaced person and literally edited them in a 3D kind of space, if you know what I mean. 
<laughs> Look at this. We'll, we'll extend your sleeves, no problem. Okay? That might work so well in fashion, right? Okay, so this one over here is pretty crazy. What they're going to do is they're going to bring this girl's legs together, believe it or not. Okay, watch this. Put a point there, put a point there, and we'll start the process, and we'll bring your legs together, all right? That's just absolutely mental, all right? We'll go there, and we'll go there. Press play, and we'll extend your jacket. We'll give you a longer jacket. I mean, wow, how is this happening? Now, this one here really, really blew my mind, okay? It's going to look a bit weird at first. So what they're saying here is, darling, can you bring your elbow in, right? So let's check what happens here. No problem. My arm is just going to follow the contour of my body, okay? <laughs> that, that is just crazy, okay? So can you imagine this in your workflow? Look at that. We'll just make this dress shorter. No worries. And there you have it, okay? So they've got a couple of samples above and beyond what I've downloaded here. You guys can go and have a look at it. I absolutely wish I could play with it in the future. I'm sure we're going to be seeing this integrated into Photoshop. But there you have it, folks. I just, I, I just had to share this with you guys uh, because my mind is blown. And you can hear by my voice that I'm like kind of like i'm in shock to be honest this is just crazy crazy good and i've not been one that's all into this ai image creation process but i have been looking out at where it's going to help us in ai image manipulation all right and this is one of those steps forward i feel and like i said what we just see now completely blows the warp tool and liquify tools of Photoshop right out of the water. So folks, I just wanted to say thank you so much for your awesome support and we'll see you in the next video. Ciao for now.